Oh, we are now joined with head coach Mark Hudspeth of Louisiana Lafayette. For all media on the call, as a, another reminder, please press star one, your telephone's keypad, to get in the queue to ask questions. Louisiana Lafayette is coming off of a uh, game against Boise State that resulted in a 45-10 to 10 loss at Cajun Field. Raging Cajuns next play this Saturday against McNeese State. That game will also take place at Cajun Field and will kick off at 6 p.m. Central Time and will be televised on ESPN3 and available on the Watch ESPN app. Uh, Coach Hudspeth, before we get started with questions, please give us your thoughts on the upcoming game against McNeese State. Well, they've got an outstanding football program. I think they've won now at least 11 straight regular season football games. Uh, they've got a very talented team, uh, starting with uh, Isaiah Golden, uh, to me probably one of the top defensive line prospects in the, in the country uh, heading into the NFL draft next year. But they've got a lot of tradition there. They've always had a, an outstanding program. And uh, I think uh, Lance has definitely even added to that uh, this year. He'll, he'll do a great job leading to that team, and, and they're off to a, to a great start. So it'll be quite a challenge. Thank you very much, Coach. As a reminder to members of the media on the call, please press star 1 on your telephone's keypad to get in the queue to ask questions for Coach Hudspeth of Louisiana Lafayette. Coach, you had 17 players play their first game in in a Rage Occasion uniform last week. Is that one positive you can take out of the game, that you got that many players in action? Well, we did. We played a lot of kids and a lot of young kids uh, that I think it will pay off down the road. We, we, We played 10 offensive linemen. And uh, I definitely think that will pay off. We've never had that type of depth or capabilities of putting that many people uh, in the game. Uh, a lot of wide outs, uh, a lot of defensive backs. And, you know, even though we did not play play well enough to uh, be competitive this past week, mm-hmm. I'm still very confident uh, in this football team. And I think in the long run, playing all these players early will hopefully pay off for us. Thank you, Coach. Um, what What are your thoughts on the uh, last week of, of Sunbelt Conference football action where South Alabama, the notable win against Mississippi State? Well, Joy does a great job over there at South Alabama, and that was a great win for their program, a uh, great win for our conference. Um, this this conference, like I said, had a great week and out of out of a uh, out of conference play, and um, and hopefully we can keep keep that up. And finally, Coach, what are what are, what are the main things you are um, looking forward to working on as you get it prepared for this week against McNeese State? Well, one, offensively, we've got to uh, eliminate penalties. That was the number one thing that hurt us this past week. We had, uh, I think, eight offensive penalties that just mm-hmm. absolutely killed drives. And uh, but we did a great job of taking care of the football with zero turnovers. And then defensively, you know, we've got a lot to work on. Uh, that's why we've we've made a change. We, we feel like that our defensive personnel is uh, is much better this year, and uh, we just uh, I, I just expect our defense to be way more competitive than what it was on, on Saturday, and I have no doubt that it that it will be. Okay, thank you very much, Coach Husband. That looks like all the questions we have for today. We appreciate your time and best of luck this Saturday. Yep, thank you. Have a great one.